Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be going over how to set up your customizable VTuber model. So you want to click on the left to bring up the uh, VTuber model menu. You want to click on import your own model and open folder which will bring up the live 2D model folder. Then you want to paste in your um, mock 3 folder for your customizable model. Press it out, click OK. Click back on the model icon and then unload model to refresh your model list. And then you find the model, which is this one, and load it in. So you can either click auto setup if you don't already have like a preferred preset for your model or you can click on copy setup for other model. Um, I will go over how to optimize your model settings but for now I'm going to click on copy setup for other models just so that I can show you how it's done. You can click copy setup from other model then select the model that you want to copy your presets from so i'm going to click this one click select and then i'm going to select these three which is copy basic settings copy physics and wind settings and copy parameter setup and then just click okay click okay and then it will be rigged to how i like it okay, so now i'm going to show you um if you don't have a preset already set up for how you like it, how to do it, the auto setup method. So first you want to click auto setup, click OK. And then you want to click on settings and then model settings. Uh, the first thing you want to do is turn off this because it kind of makes your model float around and get smaller and bigger. I'm going to turn that off. And then down here you have the parameters for different parts of your model. So here we have left and right. And as you can see, my model does move pretty well when I move my head left and right. But what you can't see in this video is how far I actually have to move my uh, head left and right to capture these movements. So ideally when you're streaming, you want to capture a lot of movement but without having to move a lot yourself. So in order to uh, do this, you want to change the input number. So you want to change it to a lower number. So that means you need to make less movement, hence lower number for maximum output. So I'm going to change this to 20 and minus 20. Um, right now, I'm not having to move my head as much and I quite like this. If I was to go even lower, minus 10, to, I mean, minus 10 to 10, I don't have to move my head a lot at all to get this kind of movement, but it also looks uh, very unnatural. And if you see this red dot over here, you can see it kind of gets stuck when I move my head left and right very slightly um, which can result in the movements looking less smooth so for me personally I like minus 20 to 20 it can vary person to person depending on how you move and obviously everyone moves differently and everyone has different preferences and everyone's models are rigged differently as well so uh, these numbers might not be the same for you. You can go through this list and change it according to your preference. Next, we're gonna go over uh, character or your model's customization as this is a customizable model. So first you wanna click on settings, then hotkey and expression settings, then click on Expression Editor, Create New Expression. So here I've tried to somewhat organize it in a way that might be easier to navigate. So at the top we have like all the hair options. 
this little sec this little line dot dot line kind of breaks down the section so all of this is your hair options or hair uh, customizable options and then down here we have like the head accessories and we also put the animals ears here so hair accessories here then we have like the facial options and accessories in this section and then we have like the uh, clothing and then like other body accessories and tail so yeah so this is how it's sectioned out so what you want to do is give your expression a name so if you want to go for a specific look i'll just call this a uh, little little mute okay and change the mid bangs You can also change the length, so if you want to go for that emo look, no. <laughs> I quite like this. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly go through these options. So after you've created your look from your model for your model, you want to click save and then this will pop up. Then want to click on create new hotkeys for all unused expressions, click select, click OK and it will bring up this menu. You then want to select the keys for your hotkey um, and I'm going to go with middle mouse button and number one. And now when you click those two keys, it will activate the expression. If you want to save this expression for load, for load up, you want to click on save active expression. So you want to make sure this is turned on. So you won't have to press the hotkey every time you load up BTube Studio. You can also press the hotkeys to turn them off. <laughs> So um, to recolor your model, you want to click on customize model. So for this, I'm going to have the um, expression or my uh, customized look turned off. So I have uh, better access to other parts of my model. So I'm going to click on customize model. Customize multiply screen color for art meshes and then click select. This may take a few seconds to load up just because there's a lot of parts to this model, so try to be patient. Uh, this can also sometimes cause your camera to disconnect, so you might need to reconnect your camera or reconnect uh, VBridger to VTube Studio. So we're going to start off by colouring the skin tone and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So when you hover over different parts of your model, you can see in the top left hand corner what each of those parts of your model are called. If you click on it, it will um, show a list of possible things you were trying to select. So in this instance, I was trying to select the bottom lip, but it also brings up a few other things. So I'm going to try and click the head skin color, it's here. You want to click on this to turn it on and then select the color that you want for your skin tone. So there are two menus when you click it. There's a multiply menu which will allow you to select darker colors or um, change the color to a different shade. You could literally be green if you wanted to, or blue. Um, and once you select the color that you like, you can click OK. Or if you don't want to change, um, you can also turn this off and this will reset it. But um, if you don't want a, a darker color, you want a lighter color, you want to click OK. And this will bring up the screen option, which will allow you to select uh, lighter shades 
So if you want to go with white hair, for example, you could use the screen option um, to select a lighter color. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go with a darker skin tone. Okay, let's just go with this one. And then once you have a color that you like, you want to copy this color code right here and click OK. If you ever lose the color code by maybe copying something else, you can just re-click on the, color, the part of the model that has the color code you want and then just copy it again and just click OK. And then you just copy and paste this color code into other parts of your model that you want to match the same color. Okay, so I've pretty much recolored the skin tone except the feet because the feet aren't visible. Now when I click the hotkey to change to my model, you can see that the skin color is saved. You can also set the, your color to a hotkey. So if you want to switch between like two different hair colors and stuff, um, you can also do that. And I will show that in a second, but first I want to show you how to uh, recolor um, other parts of your model. Okay, so another thing I want to mention is if you change the, col the eye color of your model or like you change the skin tone or other aspects, it's also a good idea to change the um, eye line as well. So first I'm going to change the eye color to give you guys an idea of what I mean. So for example, if I change this to like a more purpley, dark purpley color, you can see that it doesn't quite, the, the eyelash line kind of looks a little out of place. So you want to change the color of this. And I'm going to change it to a color that's a little more purpley to match the eye color. And the rest of the process is pretty much the same for other parts of your model. I'll just show the hair too. Um, but this time I'll do screen. So I'm going to go to the screen menu and I'm going to go with a lighter color. Now you don't want to go to the lightest of the lightest which is this color because you lose a lot of the detail. You can still get a light color by not going so high up here where you lose a lot of the deal. So you want to find a good balance. You can also change the tone if you want a more purpley or platinum look. It still gives light but you don't have to, you don't lose all the detail. One last thing I need to go through is the tail. Now some of the tails are um, sectioned into like 14, 16 different pieces which can be really hard to select and color each part individually. So what you want to do is you want to hover over the, the tail to a tail part to get the name. So as you can see is this one is called Foxtail. You can see it's called Foxtail. Then you want to click off it. And this will bring the list of every single part of your model. You just want to scroll down and find a foxtail. Here it is. The tails are usually near the bottom. So you want to select foxtail and then uh, recolor it. It might be hard to see, you can't see this one. But let's find foxtail 14, because that's near the top. So let's just say we want to go with this color for the entirety of the tail. You want to copy the color code and just copy and paste it into all the other foxtail sections. Uh, yeah, so now I have a fully recolored tail. Um, so the last thing I'm gonna go over is um, how to 
uh, hotkey your color selection. So if you like this color combo and you want to save it, you want to click on the plus sign, name it, so I'll just name it color 1. Click on hotkey action, scroll down to the bottom and click on art mesh color preset. Click select, click record settings and this records the current settings you have and then you can uh, assign uh, the hotkey that you want. So yeah, that's basically it for the basic setup of this customizable VTuber model. If you guys do need help with anything else in relation to this model or VTube Studio or any of my assets then feel free to reach out and I really appreciate your patience and support so thank you so much bye